This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the all new G Flex 2 from LG. Life's good. What's up, everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here. We're at CES 2015 taking a look at the Toyota Mirai. You're probably thinking to yourself, what's up with that fancy looking Corolla? And to I say, there is much more literally under this hood what you get in a conventional car. Let's go ahead and get started. I'd wager you're probably familiar with battery electric cars. They're powered by batteries, similar cells that power your laptop. They're quiet and they make your car go. Uh, there are a lot of alternative fuel options out there, including hydrogen, and that's what Toyota's Mirai is being powered by. When you think of hydrogen, a lot of people think that it's like gas, it's a fuel, but a hydrogen car is actually an electric car. So let me get a little scientific with you for a minute. Again, a battery car, it's got cells in it, and as those sort of get depleted, you plug it in and you charge again. This, you put hydrogen into the car uh, through fueling stations, which are being built uh, all over primarily the West Coast, but they're coming to the rest of the country. Uh, and hydrogen will be free for this, uh, by the way, because Toyota and other hydrogen manufacturers are being generous, but also because there's no way to charge for it. Much like gas, there's fuel in the car, which is hydrogen. That hydrogen is going to pass through fuel cells, which are arranged in a stack, something you might have heard. And as it goes through, the electrons are stripped out of the hydrogen, leaving the byproduct only as water. And those electrons, obviously electricity, and those are going to go through and power the car. Uh, not like a traditional electric car, you don't plug this guy in, you go to a hydrogen station and you can refuel. This guy is available now. Uh, you can buy it, of course, or lease it for about 500 bucks a month with $3,600 down. Uh, it's going to come with three years of free maintenance, 24-hour concierge service, and other kind of niceties. There's also a lot of cool car tech in it, aside from the powertrain, which is you know super novel. Uh, it's got all those regular safety features you'd expect from a, a modern car. Let me stop real fast and tell you about the LG G Flex 2. This thing is spec to the gills, highlighted by a 5.5-inch full HD P OLED screen. And what better way to take advantage of that P OLED screen than with images captured by its 13-megapixel rear camera? One of the big worries people have about hydrogen is that it's like people think you're driving around in a bomb. Uh, the tanks that are under here have been ballistically tested uh, to withstand any type of impact from direct gunshots, shotgun shots, uh, to very easily withstand any sort of car accident that you could be in. Uh, what I think people forget is that traditional gasoline powered cars are powered by explosions. Uh, so you're, there's already explosions going on in every single car. Uh, hydrogen is no more dangerous than carrying around a full tank of gasoline. When I first saw the Mirai, I might not have been blown over by how it looked. It's one of those things that looks much better in person, uh, I think, that it does in the picture. So if you get a chance to see one, uh, go to your Toyota dealership, try and look it up online. Of course, watch, watch our videos uh, and judge for yourself. I want to hear what you guys think about hydrogen. Do you think it's the future? Would you get, if you had the option, an electric car, a hydrogen car, uh, or just a regular gasoline power car? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Until next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. <laughs> see you guys next video. Bye-bye. This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the all new G Flex 2 from LG. Life's good. Thank you guys for checking out our CES 2015 coverage. If you want to see more, hit the big subscribe link down below.